So remember when we repaired the dinghy? We had those little pinholes. I've never done this before, disclaimer. So it's not a how-to, this is just, we're repairing our dinghy. It's over on, on this side over here. Well, it's not holding up. The patch started to bubble, and we're leaking air very, very, very slowly, but we're leaking again. There's a local place here called the Sailor's Place, and we don't have a trailer for this dinghy anymore. We sold the trailer with our old dinghy, but they agreed to come meet us at the boat ramp. They're gonna pull our, our boat out and help us repair it. They're gonna repair it. I'm just gonna stand there and ask them questions. And maybe we can get some tips on what they say about the repair job. I gotta clean the bottom again. How yes, are you? Sure, you do have to. <laughs> Around here, there's no question. Because there's so many nutrients, right? Yeah, unfortunately. So we patched it with the the stuff that came with it. Right. It's like maybe four or five tiny pinholes. Okay. Just tiny. What's going on? Did you fill this, did you inflate this? Like as soon as you put the patch on? It, I left it probably about that mm -hmm. when I put it on. And no, I didn't inflate it until 24 hours after. Also doesn't look like you ground the material down. I did a little, maybe not enough though. It's on there good. Like say I did everything perfect. What's like the life expectancy of that patch? With, uh -huh. Really, it should be. Even with this one part stuff, huh? We use a two part. I mean, as you can tell, it was it held on this. I mean, I could see where the little hole is. Yeah, there's a few. There's Yeah, there's a few of them. Just like that, those little tiny ones. Can you tell from, like, why it didn't stick in those bubble areas? I mean, it looks like the, pet, looks like the back of it was ground down. I mean, probably just why it bubbled is it probably just didn't have enough time to cure or something like that. It's hmm. weird because I haven't seen it bubble out like that. Hmm. But we'll get it right. So Sierra kept seeing this on La Vagabond's dinghy and she got a little jealous and she talked Highfield into giving us a little bow fleet that they're going to help mount on on here. Every time we start going she has to hold it in the front but now we can just like cleat it off in this little jam cleat. So you always want to kind of make sure you leave like an extra inch all around. That's just soapy water, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, just Dawn dish soap of water. And even the back of the patches. And you see how shiny that is? Yeah. Wanna... Rough that up real good. Yeah. And that's just like a stone tip or something? Mm -hmm. But sandpaper would work, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you don't sand it down and you leave it to where it's shiny like that, the glue's not going to stick to it. Uh-huh. That's why most of the time PG you just peel that right off. If you sand one, not the other, you can still peel it off. I wonder if that's what I did, because I definitely sanded, but I don't know if I went to town that that mm -hmm. much, because it was all by hand. Maybe that was my state, mistake. And then obviously when you're going to put it on, you want to make sure there's no air pressure in it, because if you do, then that air is just going to want to push while that glue is trying to cure. It's going to want to bubble out. So you want to do it deflated, no pressure, so that glue, once you 
put the glue on the boat and once you put the glue on the back of the patch those two like bind in those holes that you had yeah now is it like low pressure like this oh yeah like so it can still be inflated a little but just mm -hmm. there's no pressure in it. yeah yeah got you. this is the two part mm -hmm. stuff huh have about a quarter of a can because you want to put one coat on the patch one coat where you're going to put on the boat wait about 10 minutes put another coat on the patch another coat on the boat wait about five minutes put them together same thing with this do you think like we should we have this on our boat for future repairs or is the other stuff i mean this is the stuff that we always use to do repairs uh -huh. um, it wouldn't hurt I'm using the rest of it, so there was only about a quarter left in here. There's only about a quarter left in there. And then another mistake that a lot of people make is they'll take your regular brush, dip it in, they'll just glob it on. Uh huh. You don't need a lot of glue. Uh huh. So we'll take our scissors and we'll cut down the bristles so you really stretch that glue and pull this. You just want a thin coat. Ah, oh, yeah. That's another thing that wasn't really, I was kind of globbing it on. Mm -hmm. Now, does temperature and humidity have a lot to do with it or? 100%. So what, what's the key is there? You want to really, with Hypalon, you want to keep your humidity like under 70%. Okay. Now we're at 61. And then if, if it wasn't, like say that, say it said 75, what would you do? We'd pull it inside. And just shut the doors? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's, I definitely had some globs on there. And with any of the excess glue, after it cures, you can take uh, acetone and get that extra glue off the next day. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, it'll turn some mustard yellow. Yeah, that's great with cutting the bristles off. You can really pull it, mm -hmm. pull it through. While we're waiting on that for 10 minutes, I'm gonna start grinding the front. Cool. my arrow facing up to show me that just so I match up perfectly. I was using like a freaking coconut jar, <laughs> coconut oil jar. What's that thing called? Just, I think the owner just got this, he's had it for years. It just He just calls it a bone, you see how? Yeah, oh, already, already. Jeez. You should, you should be able to not even lift any corners. You just really make sure that you just get that glue to get in those holes where your leaks are. Uh huh. And then just let that cure. And then, I mean, you can even take this tool and save yourself some time. And even just your finger, just rubbing some of the old glue off that you just went over the edges with. Other people use, instead of that tool, what do they use? Like a. Um, you can use, you can use a roller. I mean, you can even use like one of these dull, like paint scrapers. Uh-huh. Just to... Just scrape it out. Just to really, yeah, just... Ah. Uh. I mean, pretty much just whatever, whatever you have available is not going to cut the material. If you let all that old glue dry on there, then it'll you... turn this mustard yellow and it'll look like crap. And you need the acetone. Yep. After it But cures. you wait until the, everything's cured because if acetone gets underneath the patch and the patch is just gonna peel back up. Gotcha, gotcha. But we wait till tomorrow when it's cured and on there and take the acetone, just get the remaining part and it's gonna, you're not really, the only person that's gonna know you, you have a patch there is you. many people get these as an add-on you're actually the first one I've done that one for oh really mm -hmm. I mean like I said people have done the, the fiberglass step where if they just get the fiberglass piece it'll just be the cleat and then sometimes have the bow light uh-huh and that'll be the one that we'll have to cut a hypalon collar sand down the fiberglass 
and put the collar of Hypalon around it and stick that down. Oh, wow. Yeah. From like over the top edge of the fiberglass? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. And is the fiberglass held down by anything besides that collar? Nope, just a coat of glue. All right, it's been about 24 hours and I just got the call that our repair and our front cleat are fully cured and ready to go. So we just got here picking it up. All right, looking good. All inflated, good to go. See how Sierra likes her new cleat. Do you like your cleat? I do. It's Jenny, look. Look, what's that? Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you liked that one. A little update in the Tula shop. We just let you guys know that our old Adrenaline Sale products went on sale last, what, Thursday? Tuesday, Tuesday. or Thursday, Tuesday. but we're already sold out of a few color options of a few different things. We um, sold out of this bag first. Woohoo, way to go, ladies. But there's still other colors in that bag. We still have some of these travel kits left and- Just a few more duffel bags. We're very limited, but we have a few left. Five or six of those. So head on over to the Tula shop. The link is right in the description below. And and thank you to everyone who already went over yes. there and grabbed them. Like we said in last week's video, they're not gonna be shipped until the 18th, so you'll get them in a week or two. Um, but make sure you send us pictures with your Tula gear, and the best way to do that is to take it in a landscape mode, meaning hold your phone or camera sideways, and send it to tulasendlesssummer at gmail.com, or you can just tag us on Instagram. I thank you guys so much for, you know, supporting, because at this point, it's looking like um. All of these profits are going towards a new, new dingy engine. Dingy so engine. thank you, because we need one and we appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching and just make sure you subscribe below, hit that like, that thumbs up button, and leave a comment. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys later.